Today we're going to take a look inside of our new hive right here. This is the one that we placed our queen in with the swarm. You can see right now the bees are going in. That's a good sign. And then we have our old hive over there. And uh, we want to probably try and see if there's a couple of frames we can pull. A couple of frames of honey that are full. So we can open up a little more space in that hive and maybe harvest a little honey today. We have our smoker going so we can try and keep the bees as calm as possible. Uh, removing frames of honey from the hive is kind of what gets them a little irritated because they're trying to protect their honey storage. So we want to calm them down as much as we can today. All right, so we've taken the top off. There's a lot less bees than there were before they swarmed, so you can see it's kind of manageable. We're going to pop this queen excluder off and see if there's some full honey frames. It looks like this one on the side here looks pretty full already. So we're going to see if we can pull a couple of frames out of here and make a switch. Just looking from the top, you can see that these frames look very full of honey, which is what we want to harvest some honey. We got a few guard bees flying around by us. They're trying to watch their honey supply. They're not too happy about us being here. We're just going to spray a little smoke around here to try and calm them all down a bit. Always a good thing to use a little bit of smoke. Try and calm them down. And as you can see, this is a full frame of capped honey. See all that honey in there? And they have it all capped off? These bees have been very busy. Flip it around to the other side, and you have the same thing here on this side too. Full frames of honey. So we're gonna try and move these bees away from here and place our honey in that Tupperware bin. Look at how much honey's dripping off of there already. Wow, hey? Now, as we get closer to the middle, we got to keep our eyes open for the queen. We don't want to take her out of the hive or have her fly off. So, let's see what happens on this next frame. Look at all that honey on there. Some of this is not capped. You can see that that's fresh honey. But Oreo will harvest it anyways and mix it in with our already capped honey. And if we need to, we'll dehydrate it just a little so it reaches the proper humidity for honey. But look at, look at uh, all these cap cells, too. And spin it back on this side. Again, we want to make sure the queen is not on there. There's a few cells on the bottom. These are brood cells. Uh, so that's okay. It just means that the bees are running out of room. That's a big reason why they chose to uh, swarm, because they just don't have space left in this hive now. We're going to drop in a, a brand new frame so they can start building some comb and have a place to store their honey. Frame. This one's got some brood on it. Okay, the stuff that's covered. The middle stuff here. These, these are brood cells, okay? And uh, this is where the new bees would be coming out of. So right now, we have so much honey in here, they're running out of space for the queen to lay eggs. Which is why we want to harvest some honey. Looking to see if the queen is on here. I don't see her yet. Again, there's some open spots on here. There's honey around it. This is a pretty good pattern. Brood should be in the center. Place for her to lay eggs. Right now I'm not seeing her. Bees typically store honey on the frames on the end here and the brood is usually in the center. So we're gonna lift this one up. And you can see almost the entire frame is covered and capped. And the same on this side, all the honey is capped. So there's really no space for the queen to be laying eggs. So we want to take this one out too. Again, we're making sure the queen isn't on here. You can see there's a little bit of brood cells in here, not many. This, this Hive is what you would call honey bound because there's so much honey in here. There's no places for the queen or very few places for her to lay eggs. So that's why our hive swarmed. This is a pretty full frame. So we're gonna take this one out as well. 
and uh, harvest the honey. So we got a lot of honey here, more than we've ever taken out of a hive since we started. So you can see inside of here, I don't even have to lift it, but that's where there are holes. This is where all the brood is being um, filled. Probably the queen is maybe on this frame. Um, so we're just gonna leave it intact. We're gonna add some more frames on top of here and let her keep going. So we've added some brand new frames in here. This one, for example, has very little comb built up from one of my earlier hives. You can see they've just started to build up. They have to build these wax honeycombs up completely before they can put honey in it or pollen or raise their brood or the queen laying eggs. So the bees will be busy doing this for a couple of weeks now. And you can take a look here. You can see most of this frame is covered in honey. We're gonna pull this one out of the side. This one too, Get a quick look. This queen would not normally be on here. This is a close up of all the bees. I'm just looking to see if we see any mites on top of any of the bees here that are on top. I don't see any, they look very healthy. Uh, but we're just checking them out here, seeing what they all look like. From what I can see, they should be all right. But our weather conditions are good to do a mite treatment uh, before it gets too warm into July, and then we can't do it. We need uh, no higher than 85 degrees during the day and no lower than 50 at night for our mite away quick strips to work. So that's what we're gonna do today here too. So the mite treatment is in. We're gonna put the top root box back on and we're gonna close this hive up. We have a total of six frames in here and each frame weighs about five or six pounds or more. So we probably have about 30 or 40 pounds of honey in here that we're trying, that we'll need to remove. So that's it for today. Extraction comes next.